Uh, this is a live recording. Um, so basically, what has happened is I've taken a big hiatus from YouTube, right? You can't hear my girlfriend, but she kind of looked at me like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just making this video to update that as I sip for my coffee. Um, that perhaps I'm going to try doing a less professional approach to YouTube. But more like a, a like an audio log slash uh, like information based YouTube channel. I want it to be a lot more of me talking for good reasons rather than me talking for me, if that makes enough sense. And then so basically, as this recording goes on, I'm going to implicate in my head that I'm going to be putting specific pictures into these spots to make it more entertaining or maybe not pictures but like you have to think off the top of your head what kind of video you want it to be while you're doing it so and what's really hard is if you're not a youtuber that uses freaking paper you know you can't remember that crap so what youtubers often do is they'll put audio cues like insert this here and then cut that out and then insert it so I'll be playing, and then I'll stop playing a game, and then I'll be like, insert this here, like whatever I'm thinking of, like in the audio so it can hear me, and then I'll be like, oh, insert here, right? But that takes more editing instead of paperwork, you know? So it's it depends on your preference. Everyone has a preference for YouTube. Uh, me personally, I'm the, uh, what do you call that? I know Henry Ford is totally not a president, but... Harrison Ford. That's an actor. I'm making fun of myself at this point. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so they had fireside chats, and that's what I want to be for YouTube. But I don't want to be that way without <laughs> having a structure first. And so I'm going to be actually uploading this video, right? But the effort is to get people to want to do it. And if I can show people that it doesn't have to be a strict way. It doesn't have to be that you have a routine with YouTube. YouTube can be used for things that aren't YouTube, like audio archive or video archive or personal like growth. Like you can literally say what you feel and then come back and listen a year or two later and then provide your thoughts on how you acted then in there, and then up with that, and then continue doing that until you have a structured repetition, uh, as if you've been writing down, right, this whole time, who you are, and YouTube can show that to me, and right now, as you can see, I'm in a different mo mode, right, I'm in a different mode than I normally am to talk, because I actually genuinely can implicate my words into, like, reality and someone's actually listening it makes it a lot easier that you're here honestly and i can pretend that you're not hearing me because i'm used to you not hearing me when you're focused and so even just you sitting here while i'm making a video might actually help my recognition of words and i wanted to express that to the video itself so that way you know that i'm like really serious about this i want to show that i'm serious about this i'm serious about youtube youtube Hear me out. Like, I'm not very good at it, and I'm probably shit at the copyright stuff. And, excuse me, I will put a bleep there. <laughs> like, I'm, I want to go for it. Like, side. Side piece stuff. <laughs> they can hear you when you scream. And then, you know what's crazy? If you do it the way that I do it with YouTube, if you do all of the effort in the video rather than on paperwork you can like develop a sense of in the momentness with your youtube videos like <clears throat> the reason i feel this way is because <sighs> like so jacked up the guy or pewdiepie or all of those people they may not show your se their secrets but it's pretty obvious that say if you've watched one of their blooper videos that they do they have techniques, like, and setup tours, and and tutorials on editing, like, they don't have that, but 
uh, just the fact that there's so much resource on YouTube now for YouTube. And why am I not in on this? Right, and honestly, really glad that you're here. I'm glad that, that we can actually uh, do something different. I want to show people that mistakes are okay. Like, they're funny. Like, it's okay. <laughs> like, so really, to me, YouTube is an expression tool. You know? Like, you gotta figure out your why. You gotta figure out what is so important about making these videos and who is gonna care. You know? Sure. And sometimes that happens. That's why YouTubers don't hit off. And I don't want to be a gaming channel anymore. I don't want to be uh, just a gaming channel anyway. I want to be able to do multiplayer stuff and have people with me. And cats. And cats. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. My pauses. See, I was going to say YouTube. YouTube is much more comfortable nowadays than it used to be. The editing software has gotten to a point where literally I can just, I don't know, like, pause. I can pause. I'm allowed to pause. Just like that. See? Ta-da. And then watch me edit it out. I'll go through this again and show the same scene with it edited out just a gaming channel anyway. I want to be able to do multiplayer stuff and have people with me. And cats. And cats. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. My pauses. See, I was going to say YouTube. YouTube is much more comfortable nowadays than it used to be. The editing software has gotten to a point where literally I can just, I don't know, like, pause. I can pause. I'm allowed to pause, right? And then, so, let's say I'm going to go ahead and go through the same list that I did with me and my girlfriend. Um, let's say this one. So there's one. That is a picture. Um, let me open. Sorry, I'm still getting used to it again. So, now that you have both media, video, and audio, you can do anything you want here. Let's say I start from the beginning, let's listen. Oh good god. Okay, so already we see this as a cringy video. Um, so basically this is your selector, you press S to split, so you let go, press S on whatever track you want. You can move around anything you need. Um, Basically, if you want any overlay to happen, you're going to have to shift the tracks so that way you can actually... So you're going to have to split the tracks so that way you can um, actually organize all of it. And anything above the other tracks are going to probably... Except for audio. Any media track, any video or picture track are going to stack on top of each other. So as you see with this, even though it has both this uh, video track and this audio track, this media track is going to cover up this video track unless you do something about it. So you can zoom in with the scroll wheel, and then me personally, I like to put anything that I add either over half the screen or in a corner. I don't want it to overlay everything, right? So what I'm going to do just for this, uh, the sake of this video, I pull it to the corner, and the best way to do that is basically look at your grid. Like you see it's in the corner there. If you don't want it to be in the corner, um, all you got to do is move it like this. So you're basically just going to want to put it wherever you need, but you it's best to just zoom out and figure out where that is. So this little F is your field of view, right? And then you can move it wherever you need and size it based on how big this F is. If you want it to be a quarter of the screen, so be it. If you don't, so be it, you know? Um, for now, we're just going to leave it in the center like that. And you can really, really get into it, like corner it and stuff. I think that's funnier. So that's where we're going to put it. Now, 
since this video does not have like an actual video now that I actually see it we can delete this track but I'm using it as an example you can see the black screen in this preview this black screen right here is the video right so let's just say we don't need this video right and then we add in not an audio track we added in another video track so anyway let's add a different video just to actually have footage I don't want this audio track so, so anyway if I don't want this audio track now that I've done troubleshooting if I don't want the stupid audio track because if you listen real quick this guy's voice is really loud because it takes a while and it's gonna drown out our ASMR time we're gonna sit here and grab it until it's yellow press U separate it delete it and then drag so yeah Ta -da! <laughs> different video. Wait, you're gonna have to added come. media. Different audio. That's how you make a meme. Edit. Edit. <laughs> Bluebears in the end reel. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. And if you're just lazy, you know what you could do? You could just take all of the stuff that you edited out and put it at the end. Seriously, <laughs> that, I mean that's a really good idea. Like function on it. Um, that's a bad word. Hmm. So you're going to have to split the, the best way to separate, I believe, is control? No. Shift? No. Alt? No, that's too a bit. There's a button here. I think you might have to right click. Is she in the bathroom? Okay. Okay, I don't want this audio track. So what I'm gonna do is I can remember because it takes a while to get into the position to make it flow. Wait. how to split these two. It's remove from group. Here to group. Remove from. There it is. 